On Friday, we observed the 77th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack that thrust America into World War II. Soldiers in that war treasured letters from home, as have soldiers in the wars that followed. Steve Hartman has the tale of the girl in the letter. Inside a humble home in Wendell, Idaho, on a shelf tucked behind this picture, John Metzler keeps the letter that he says got him through the Vietnam War. It's written by a girl in the sixth grade. You didn't know this girl? Nope. John was a 23-year-old Army helicopter gunner. When you got up in the morning, you always wondered whether you would see the sun go down at night. And because he had such a deadly job in such a thankless war, that little girl's note mattered. It arrived on Christmas Day, 1970, and it simply read in part, Dear Serviceman, I want to give my sincere thanks for going over to war to fight for us. The class hopes you will be able to come home. Signed, Donna Kay. Obviously, it could have gone to any soldier, but John took it very personally. It's not just the letter, right? Damn sure isn't. Does it mean as much to you today as it did when you got it? Yeah. Fact is, I think it means more today than I did when I got it. Because she said thank you. Yeah. Not long ago, John even asked some family members to find this Donna Kay. But they couldn't. At least, that's what they told him. She's actually alive and well, and about to deliver a second thank you message. This one, in person. I remember writing the letter in the sixth grade. I was amazed that I could have the opportunity to write to a serviceman and maybe make his life a little simpler for a couple of minutes. You took this assignment seriously. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And she continues to take it seriously. That's why she flew all the way from Florida to surprise this unsuspecting soldier. You're real. Yes, I'm You're real. real. John's anonymous girl in the letter, now the friend before him. It has become almost cliche to thank a veteran for his or her service. I, I don't believe it. But John says we still need to say the words because they're not only appreciated, sometimes they're desperately needed. I can't believe it. And I'm here. Thank you. Oh, it's my Thank pleasure. Thank you so much.